point of this has been to raise awareness about plastic trash in our oceans. You would not believe how much trash is out there. Most of the trash out there comes from us, not from ships or the fishing industry. It's coming from land, washing down our watersheds. Walk out to the LA River, Bayona Creek, St. Gabriel River, and look after a rainstorm. And you know what I'm saying. You've seen the trash washing out the sea, washing on our beaches. Well, once it gets out in the middle of the ocean, it never goes away. And that, our age of disposable plastics, it has to end. We did it because he said we couldn't do it. Well, we did it, obviously. And in those days, the ocean was clean. It was full of fish. And we saw no plastic anywhere we went. I mean, how amazing. The American Chemistry Council reports 60 billion pounds of plastic was produced in the United States in 1992. 15 years later, it's now 120 billion pounds. It's extremely profitable. They've doubled production. But that, that increase sort of parallels the exponential increase in plastic trash building in our oceans. We had some good-sized storms and such. Uh, we never thought we were going to perish or anything, although people were always scared. Yeah. Before we left, people were talking about sea serpents and all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Giant, giant squid coming to get you. I think the only thing some of the guys really worried about, at one point out there we saw a submarine, a submarine periscope came up and looked. And some people were saying, well, what, what if it's a Russian? I said, well, Russians aren't going to blow us out of the water, waste something to blow us out. And we try to communicate with them. We try to say, ice cream. <laughs> Looking at the periscope. And they never came up. They just looked. Who knows what they thought, then they went away. The yeah, big difference is that we were 10 times as heavy as these guys. They're smart. I think this is brilliant. I think the guys running it are really sharp guys. I think they're making a difference in the world. And I think they're a model for everybody in the sense that they dreamed of doing something and they did it. And I, I, know, I know they heard stuff, you're crazy, you can't do it, and they pushed that aside, and it just went and did it. Great. That's an example for me, for everybody. To take.